There's really only one way to figure out who's fastest. Pedro Ferreira. You have a race, of course. From Chile. And this guy is known to be one of the fastest, but can he take down some of the other dudes in this urban downhill sport? Put on by Red Bull Bike. He's known to be quick, but can he beat Tomas Slavic and Johannes Fishback? Oh man, he's bombing down those stairs, man. It just astonishes me every time I see this. Now what I truly like about this video is down in the bottom right hand corner is one of his competitors. That's Tomas Slavic. He has just posted a very quick time and now he's watching Pedro Ferreira try and beat him. You basically cannot have a single error on your line down, right? You have to take the shortest corners, you have to take the fastest straightaways, you have to go down the stairs of fast. And you can't crash. I mean, this course looks absolutely unforgiving. We're racing at Valparaiso Cerro Abajo. This is the 18th anniversary of this race. It's kind of cool because like Formula One sometimes does street races. It brings the race to the people so the crowds can really get into it. And this is the same thing with mountain biking. Instead of everyone having to go out in the middle of nowhere to watch it, they bring the sport to them. Ah, Thomas, does he know? 10 seconds to go! That's so nerve-wracking, you know? He's going to be inside, isn't he? It, it, yeah. It's going to be close, yeah. actually! Here's the split. And no, here he comes in, Ferreira! Oh, and he goes, he goes! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, wow! Wow! Yeah, and did you see Tomas's reaction in the bottom right-hand corner? He can't believe it. For it to come down to four hundredths of a second, that is pretty darn close racing. Is your heart racing too? <laughs> oh, Ferrara wins! Ferrara wins Valparaiso!